Hi, I'm Jim Huntsinger. And I'm Nate Sturry. And we're board members on the Cafacumba Development Project Fund, which is involved with supporting the Cafacumba Pastor School. The Pastor School was started over 50 years ago by Ken Enright in Congo and uh, continues up to now with a couple of different sessions, one in Congo and one in Zambia. With the Cafacumba Pastor School, there's actually a lot more that goes on than just the Pastor School. We're going to elaborate on it. Sure. Um, yeah, Ken and Wright started this uh, Pastor School over 50 years ago really to uh, help educate and train village pastors. It's not intended to be a seminary substitute. It's really just intended to be for training village pastors in how to be uh, effective and uh, deepen their spiritual walk. Um, and so he's, we've been doing that, started with about five pastors sitting on a log in Congo, and uh, now we're up to two different sessions. One is currently meeting in Zambia, and we have pastors from Tanzania, Zambia, uh, just got some more from Namibia as well. And uh, then the Congo session has pastors mainly from the Congo. Congo. So a lot, of, a lot of growth that's happened uh, since it all started. So substantial growth, but not only just the pastor education itself, there's other activities that go on as well during that too. Yes, uh, during pastor school, uh, we have some of the families coming as well. Uh, spouses go to classes as well as children have activities during that time. It's a big deal, and it's uh, you know it's pretty intense because it's a, a month away from home and their home church, and uh, it's traveling. Actually, sometimes takes up to a week just to get there. So, uh, Cafacumba. Pastor school as a whole involves quite a bit, um, but in addition to that, of course, there's lots of other things that go on at Cafacumba. Yeah, and why don't we talk about some of those as okay. well? Yeah, um, lots of different things going on at Cafacumba. It is a training center, and it's available for churches and organizations to use just to meet there, to hold conferences, to hold seminars. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Cafacumba Christian School that meets there as well. Currently, it's meeting in the center, but the hope is to build a facility outside the center. Mm -hmm. There's talk of a theological school that may uh, meet in the center for a little bit as well. We have a clinic that we're trying to get started. Uh, lots of different activities that are going on all at the same time. Yeah. So really, even with the pastor school and those other things around, it's really almost like a, a, a community center. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like an umbrella <laughs> almost and a lot of things happening under that. Yeah, so I mean a lot of people from the local area, but your, the outreach is even more broad than locally too to some degree isn't it definitely i mean we have people coming from quite a ways off for training center activities and things like that so uh, the kafakuma name is very well known throughout zambia and really a lot of sub-saharan africa